Hello guys and welcome to my channel, my name is Kiki and let's jump into today's projects! For this project we are gonna use two of those ornaments, one of them flew in this candle holder I made out of two shot glasses, those stencil pages that I got from Walmart, some tool from there and we are gonna paint those candle holders with this flat black, you can make those candle holders out of anything you have at home and now, while they are drying, I'm gonna take one of those sheets from the stencil pages and I'm gonna cut a circular shape like, nope, not like that, I said circle <laughs> I'm gonna make it a circle and I'm gonna try to see if it fits inside my ornament and it fits, now I'm gonna get it out and then I'm gonna draw a face on that piece of plastic just like that, I'm trying to make a Madame Leota but you can think like my son that this is a Medusa <laughs> whatever suits your needs you can do here and I'm doing another one for my other ornament that flew <laughs> And after I finish with that, I'm gonna take some chalk black paint, some ink from Waverly and I'm gonna paint that shape with a thin paintbrush, just like that. I'm gonna paint it and make my face with the paintbrush, like that. And we're gonna continue painting all the details of that face. And after we finish, we will have a creepy cute face <laughs> of Madame Leota or Medusa or whatever you think this is. A creepy face. <laughs> and we're gonna continue painting that until we finish. Now I'm making the hair. And I'm gonna continue making my hair until we finish. Like that. And I'm gonna repeat that to my other piece of plastic. Now I'm taking a candle, turning that on, and I'm gonna try something that I saw, but it will be a fail, but we will try it. <laughs> and I turned it on and nothing is happening, so I blew that and I took all that smoke that came out of the candle and I'm gonna leave it there so I can do the same to the other one. Like that. And I'm gonna try to keep that smoke inside, but it won't happen, so you don't have to do this. <laughs> but after that, I'm gonna start adding my pieces of plastic. You can use sheet protectors, as I told you. And after that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push it to the front, and I'm gonna use a pen for that. And then I'm gonna start adding pieces of my tool to my ornament. That's why I'm pushing it to the front. I'm gonna repeat with the other ornament. And as you can see, we are starting to lose that beautiful smoke. <laughs> That's why I said it wouldn't work. <laughs> now I'm cutting the pieces of the tool and I'm gonna add them to the back of my Madame Leota. Just like that. And I'm gonna repeat on my other ornament like that when we have them full and nice now I'm gonna add a couple more pieces to them but when we have them full and nice and really cute what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our candle holders and we are gonna start decorating our candle holders and for that you can add this and that will be it and I want to make it a little bit extra by adding some raffia to where the two shot glasses meet and for that I'm just tying it around and that will be it. We will have a cute candle holder. Look. This is part of the Kiss Keep It Simple Sunday DIY Challenge hosted by Melissa from Melissa Makes It DIY and Sandy from Sandy McKenzie Lumber Mill. I'm gonna leave you in the description box down below the links for their channels and also for the playlist for this month challenge. 
go and check them out and also check out the playlist. Remember that if you like modern farmhouse, bo decor and lots of silly jokes, that's what I do here, so subscribe and here is my social media, go and check me out. For our tree, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of these cutout, wooden cutout trees and we're gonna take ink from Waverly and some glitter and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start painting my tree, just simply painting it black with my ink chalk paint you can use spray paint if you have but if you want to make it kid friendly just use the brush and let them paint and have fun painting it so we're gonna paint it completely front and back and the sides and this is gonna be kind of a struggle <laughs> but if you want to make things faster just go ahead grab your spray paint flat black and paint it completely and you will have a tree just painted and ready to start making it glam <laughs> and now we're gonna continue painting until we reach every nook and cranny from our cut out cream uh, christmas i want to say christmas this is not a christmas tree <laughs> or our tree of our tree <laughs> we're gonna go to every nook and cranny of our halloween not christmas <laughs> tree and after that we're gonna have it ready to get it glam and beautiful so we're gonna continue painting like that and i'm gonna finish it and i'm also gonna paint the base that you see on the side we're gonna keep on painting like so and remember, we are going to paint front and back so everything is black. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Elmer's glue and I'm going to take a little bit of that into a paper plate and now I'm going to apply the Elmer's glue all around the tree, just like this. And then we're going to take that black glitter that we saw and we're going to start adding the glitter like that once I get it open <laughs> and we're gonna start adding it just like this like that all around our tree and we're gonna continue adding glue and adding glitter and I'm doing it this way because as the tree it's a little bit bigger I don't want my glue to dry while I'm applying the glitter so that's why I'm doing it piece by piece or part by part <laughs> So we have enough time and our glue isn't dried. And just like that, we're gonna continue until we cover all the front of our tree. Now I'm gonna apply it in the base and that will be it. We add our glitter to that and we have a cute Halloween tree. Look at that, so cute. And this is how they turned out. As you can see, we have our Halloween black tree, really glam. And usually I can do glam, but this one, it's looking fine. <laughs> Look at that. First time and it's a win. <laughs> and over there, you can see the beautiful Madame Leoto candle holders. Yeah, they look like Medusa. My son says they look like Medusa. So it can be one of them or both of them. <laughs> and this is how they are looking. I just love them. They are so creepy cute. Look at that. Remember that I'm going to leave you in the description box the link for the playlist. So go and check everyone out. I know you're going to find lots of beautiful and wonderful inspo. And if you like it, hit the thumbs up. If you love it, subscribe so you can keep on watching these type of videos. Take care. Bye-bye.